And it's time now for business news. We head over to Mike Ethel to check in on the latest. Mike. Hey, morning, Tammy. The Dow Jones Industrial Average will be continuing its march toward 20,000 today. Opens the day 117 points away from that threshold. And some analysts figure that we could see it before Christmas time, just uh, in time, sort of a, a holiday victory for Wall Street, which has been. Uh, well, shall we say volatile this year. At one point it was down 10%. It is currently on pace for a gain when all was said and done for 2016 of about 10%. This uh, uh, market rebound really started uh, with the U.S. vote since that point in time. The Dow, for example, has been up six weeks in a row. It's gained 8% since that point. Uh, the volatility gauge, investor concern and nervousness has dropped substantially. And this is even in the face of rising U.S. interest rates. And what that's meant to the global market environment. You look at our Canadian dollar this morning at 74 and a half cents U.S. And the dollar has uh, dropped pretty substantially here over five trading days, losing well over a cent against the U.S. dollar on the prospect for rising U.S. rates as opposed to steady interest rates here in Canada for 2017. The TSX is coming off a gain of about 17 points. It's been sort of inching higher recently, helped out by the price for oil, which this morning showing a little bit of strength as well, 52.35, up by 23 cents. Coming Coming up this morning, we'll get earnings from BlackBerry, the Waterloo-based company which used to dominate the smartphone market, now more of a software maker. After announcing in September it's farming out its uh, production of smartphones with the famous QWERTY keyboard to a third-party supplier, and the software transition should actually result in a slight profit for BlackBerry this quarter. Yesterday they were showing off or, or opening uh, their uh, uh, autonomous driving technology focus at the QNX headquarters in Ottawa. Maybe some backing from the federal government on there as well. Again, the strategy shift for BlackBerry. Stock price this year down about 20% coming in, so it's got a little bit of work to do to get back up to break even for the year. Volkswagen settling its emissions scandal with Canadian drivers. Uh, $2.1 billion was the dollar amount that was agreed to yesterday. Uh, this still has to be signed off by uh, lawyers and judges. But at the same time, you look at the breakdown of what Canadian owners of VW and Audi cars are going to get compared to the U.S. And I'm just seeing this morning, anecdotally, it looks as though the Canadian owners are not going to get as much as their U.S. partners. The, uh, uh, the payout here is anywhere from $5,100 to $7,000 for VW uh, cars with uh, diesel emissions issues. Now, again, this is based on how old the car is, how many uh, miles it has on it in the United States, though the range is a little bit higher, up to $10,000. So again, the uh, the details of this still being worked out, and it'll be interesting to see when all is said and done, the actual comparables. You can get the car fixed, maybe, trade it in, uh, get out of a lease. There are all sorts of moving parts still to the story going into the new year, and that's sort of been the background, a lot of uncertainty for the owners of these vehicles, which uh, have these uh, diesel engines that uh, don't live up to the uh, advertised expectations. And continuing in the auto sector, General Motors and Fiat Chrysler both scaling back their U.S. production a little bit going into the holidays. They're going to shut down some of the production lines on small and mid-sized cars simply because they've got too many of these vehicles on dealer lots. Uh, the auto industry this year has continued to see a trend toward big trucks and SUVs, hot sellers, because it comes back to the price for gas, which is still in the United States in the low $2 per gallon range. Here it's been anywhere around that dollar per liter area. So again, consumer trends shifting dramatically over the past couple of years, really, as the price for gasoline got that much cheaper. The size of vehicles being uh, demanded by consumers has gotten that much larger. So this is going to result in, at least in the short term, a pendulum swing for some of the U.S. Automakers. And again, Tammy, we're uh, going to see if the Dow can get to 10,000 today and uh, earnings coming up in a few minutes from BlackBerry. Back to you.